Good morning, Bridge. We're talking about fear today and how God can help us through our fears. So um, I want to ask you guys a couple things to think about. When could fear be a good thing? And what is the biggest fear that you have to have God help you with? How about I share mine with you after we watch the so-and-so show? Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's a perfect shot. Just hold it right there. Whatever you're giving me. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Can I go get ready for the show now? No, 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 I'm still setting up the shot. Okay. Ooh, this looks good. Yeah, looks awesome. I've been standing here for 30 minutes, John. You can't rush I'm art, get, Brandon. Oh, we're making art now? When have we ever not made art? <sighs> here we go. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, I got an idea. Okay, ready? how much longer? Just hold still. Not much longer. Here we go. Are you ready? Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm going to zoom in. And then you're going to zoom out. You're going to zoom in. And then you're going to zoom out. And you're going to zoom in. Okay, I'm done. Then, I'm what? done. No. I'm done. Okay. okay. That's fine. it. Fine. Fine. Go take a break. Just can you bring your stand in? Please? Yeah. Thank you. All right. That's great. That's great. All right. Stay right there. Stay right there. That's Why? Perfect. Not you. I'm talking to your stand in. Oh. You are allowed to leave, man. <sighs> Actors. <laughs> Glad we got rid of that guy, right? Oh, wait. That's perfect. Just hold it right there. Okay. And then we zoom in. Oh, yeah. Look at those eyes. Then we zoom out. Then we zoom in. Yes. We zoom out. And then we do a spin. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is great. We go faster. 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 Oh. Cut. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the So-and-So Show. I'm Brandon. And I'm John Spiders. No. Horses. No. I nail, nails on a chalkboard. No, John. Look, John's trying to figure out what I'm afraid of. Nothing scares you. I, I can't think of anything. Sorry. What if your fingers suddenly turn into worms? Can't really picture that. Oh, here. I'll help. No, I think I'd actually find that pretty fascinating. <laughs> Anyway, have we got a great show for you today. The power okay. going out. Uh, uh, huh? No. Uh. Storms. Oh, no, I love thunderstorms. <laughs> Can we do the show now? Sure. All right, so today. What about Oreos that have earwax filling? Oh. I find that disgusting, but it's not scary. Oh, well, we'll see about that. Because it's time for a game I call Fear the Filling. Fear the filling. Here's how this game works. Someone has replaced the normally delicious filling from these Oreo cookies with a filling that may or may not be delicious. All we have to do is taste the Oreo and guess the right flavor. First one to guess two correctly wins the game. Unless, of course, you fear the filling. I don't think so. Let's okay. play. That's great. Filling number one. Ooh, he's scared. No, I am terrified. Ooh. Oh, oh, it's gross. What is that? Oh. Yeah. It's sunscreen. Sunscreen? How do you know what sunscreen tastes like? I don't want my tongue to get sunburned. Okay. All right. Next filling. All right. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, man. They're red. Mm. You scared? No. I want to run away screaming. Okay. <laughs> oh. Hot. Hot. Ah. Strawberry? Mm. Uh, mm. Oh. No. No, it's some kind of hot sauce. Mm. Mm. No. Okay, fine. All right. Can oh. I have some milk, please? I got it right. Oh, wasn't that hot? You gonna be okay? <sighs> Next filling. All right. Oh, it's green. Yeah. No, Nick, don't touch that. It's, it's green. Do you know what that could be? That could be some sort of dangerous mold or grasshopper guts or 
Some sort of radioactive toxin. Don't touch it. I'm not afraid. No, don't, don't. Yeah, you You should you, be afraid. No, 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 Brandon, no, 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 Brandon. Mmm, mint. Hmm. Guess I win. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys. What's up, Kellen? You got a story for us today? Is this segment called Bible Discussion Time with Kellen? No, it is not. Then yes, I've got a story. Oh, actually, Kellen, can I help tell the Bible story today? I have a feeling I can make it more scary. I mean, I can make it more cinematic, which would be really terrifying, gratifying to our viewing audience. You know, I'm a budding filmmaker, right? I've heard something of the sort. It's true. I'm trending on Twitter. Listen to what people are saying. My son John wants to be a filmmaker. Looks like he won't be moving out of my basement anytime soon. Hashtag retired mom problems. Boom. You know what? Sure, you can help. But do you mind if I do a little setup though? No problem. Okay. Sometime after Jesus died and when he came back to life, there was a guy named Saul who was going from place to place finding people who believed in Jesus and throwing them in jail. But when Saul was on his way to Damascus to arrest even more Jesus followers, he had a miraculous encounter with Jesus himself. Today's story picks up three days after that encounter. Saul has gone without food and drink for three days, and he has completely lost his sight. John, take it away. <laughs> All right. And action. In a land called Damascus. Stop. What, uh, what's that? A wolf. No wolves in Damascus. It's just setting the tone. Sure, but, but there were no wolves. Fine. In no wolves in Damascus. All right. Easy fix. Action. In a land called Damascus. There lived an ordinary guy named Ananias. Did I say ordinary? Not so fast. God might have something to say about that. Ananias. Yes, Lord. Go to the house of Judas on Straight Street. Ask for a man from Tarsus named Saul. No! Scary, right? It's not too bad. All right. You asked for it. Lord, I've heard many reports about this Saul. He's come to Damascus to arrest your people, people like me. Surely you don't want me to go to him. Go! I'm just gonna cut in for a sec. That's true, God asked Ananias to go help out a man who should have been his enemy, so Ananias had every reason to be scared. Not sure if God's voice sounded like that, but I don't know for sure, so I'm gonna let that one slide. In any case, Ananias did what God told him to. John? Yep. <laughs> when God tells you to go, you go. What's with the fish? Because of the scales. The scales. Oh, 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 okay, fine. Carry on. Would Ananias let fear stop him from doing what God wanted him to do? Uh, Brother Saul, the Lord has sent me to you so you will be able to see. You will be filled with the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Something like scales has fallen from your eyes! 
That's really great. Though, just in case you were wondering, Saul probably didn't have fish on his face. Just trying to be biblically accurate, Kellen. Yeah, so Ananias helped Saul see again. And I'm telling you, Saul was a completely different human being after that. He got up, he got baptized, and after he got his strength back, he started telling everyone he could that Jesus was the Son of God. Which goes to show you, when you go and- Wait, 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 Kellen, the story isn't over yet. You have more. Oh, yeah. This is the really scary, I, 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 mean, I mean, really emotionally moving part coming up. Oh boy. Saul used to terrify followers of Jesus. Now, it was his turn to be terrified. Saul, you're in danger. Some bad people are going to try and kill you. You have to leave the city. No! Mystery. Intrigue, a midnight rescue through a hole in the city wall. Would Saul be safe at last? No. Come on! Shipwrecks, prison, unimaginable persecution. What are you, a mannequin? This man would face trials of these kinds and more for the rest of his life. Saul, who is also called Paul, coming soon. Or is it? Now you're scared, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, a little. Ha! If I follow Jesus, does that mean I'm gonna face trials like Saul for the rest of my life? Ha! I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. Bad stuff is going to happen, and there's gonna be plenty of stuff for us to be afraid of. But here's the good news. When you follow Jesus, you've got someone who's, who's gonna be there to help you face those fears. So sure, Saul went through some stuff, and we're gonna go through some stuff too but it's not like you have to go through it alone. God will be with us. I feel better already. <laughs> Great. Thanks for your help today, John. Yeah, you're welcome. Hey, let's do it again next week. I mean, that would be terrifying. Uh, I mean, I can't think of another word. Bye. Later, Kellen. Man, I thought my version of the Bible would totally scare you. Sorry, I wish I could help you. I, I just don't know what I'm afraid of. Oh. Well, hey, in that case, reveal the question! Oh, what are you afraid of? Are you afraid of making new friends? Mm, yeah, or are you afraid of missing the bus and having to walk to school and then you can't decide if you should cut through old Farmer Ben's cornfield because that would be faster if his dog Dragon is asleep or if you should take the long walk along the road even though you'll definitely be late and you're paralyzed with indecision and you end up missing the entire day of school but you don't realize you've missed the entire day of school until the bus comes back to the very same spot that afternoon to let your friends off from school. Or maybe you're afraid of snakes. <laughs> yeah, talk about it with each other. What are you afraid of? And we'll see you next time on... The So-and-So Show! I I'm always afraid I'll never get to say that at the end. Bye! So-and-So Show! What, you get to say it a lot. <laughs>hope you enjoyed this so-and-so show it's always a, t a good laugh and a good lesson isn't it so I asked you before how can fear be a good thing well I was thinking about this um, we have a little bit of fear placed in us when we're born right it's it's kind of like um, a good thing when kind of some kids they seem fearless but if we didn't have a little fear of heights or a little fear of stuff we might actually end up getting hurt a lot huh well one thing that I have a fear of is not heights and it's not, it's just kind of something silly, but I don't know if you ever heard of like claustrophobia, but that's where like when you get in small spaces, you get fearful. Well, and it's something I absolutely cannot control. Um, so there's a few times that when I am um, 
it's more like I was in the Washington Monument and I had to go up for my 16th birthday and we were packed in there like sardines. And then when I got up, I'm like, I'll be all right once I get to the top. I'll be all right once I get to the top. And I got to the top and there were so many people in there. And the space was only like, it felt like no room at all. Now, I went back a few years ago with Momentum and there was quite a bit of space up there. But my body at the time was telling me there was no space. So I had some fears and I remember having, if, how God got me through that. You wanna know how he got me through that? I prayed and I asked him to calm me down and to be able to think properly right there. There was oxygen to breathe even though I couldn't feel it and I could get through that time with God. I have a few other questions. Let me just check them out first before we go. If someone is brave or courageous, does that mean they're not afraid? Why or why not? Well, I would have said the fact that I actually went back up in the Washington Monument was brave and courageous of me. And you know what? I was afraid even as an adult to go back up because I remembered that experience so close. Another thing I'm not really keen on is I love water. I love to water ski, I love all of that, but I don't like to be stuck underwater or anybody near the water. But I love the adventure and the, the kind of the, um, what I wanna say, like of trying new water sports. So um, I actually, tubing is one thing, I'd rather water ski than tube because if I get thrown off and I go really deep, that's scary. But you know what? If I have a friend or maybe a kid, maybe one of you ever came to my camp, I would love to ride with you because you know what? I'm not going to let fear hold me back because I know God has my back and there's a life jacket, right? So, you know, let's be courageous. Let's be brave. And what can you do this week to overcome a fear? Hmm. Talk about it with whoever's watching this with you. Have a great week and I'll see you next week.